back with another declutter and this time we are decluttering my lip crayons and lip liners. If you missed part one, I went through all of my liquid lipsticks. I just had so many that I needed to make this into two parts so it wasn't a gazillion years long. So now we are going to go through my liquid lip crayons. Fran is making an appearance. So sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be a little bit easier because there's just not as many. And you can tell I don't even have as many formulas because I clearly love this Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Like love, love, love this formula. And the rest are all ones that I'm kind of like so-so about. So I think this will be a little bit easier to get through and a little bit faster. So we'll do these and then jump into the lip liners. I'm just going to go by section, I think, because most of these I have multiples of. These are ColourPop, Maybelline, L'Oreal. Um, this is actually also Maybelline, but it's not the ink crayon line. And then these are Buxom and these are like miscellaneous. So I think I can tell you right out the gate, this Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm needs to go because it's old although that's gorgeous so I might be lying that's really pretty um the L'Oreal matte crayons I don't love as much as the Maybelline so let me swatch these and see if one of these can maybe go I do like them but again not as much okay this one can go it's way too light this is in 510 Trey Sweet. So this one I'm going to pass on. And this one I'm going to keep. This is in 501 Strawberry Glaze. That's what this color is. And I do really like that. Okay, now this is the Maybelline Ultimate, Ultimate. And what color is this? More Mauve. I feel like I haven't even hardly used this. It's pretty, but very purple. This looks like a great one for fall. So I think I will keep this since it's my only one from this line. I really don't remember how I feel about it. And I do think that's going to be beautiful for fall. These ColourPop ones, I feel like I can be pretty tough on because I really don't reach for them. They're the lippy sticks. I have Songbird, Brink, and Trust Me. They are all matte. I think this one can probably go. Although that's beautiful. Gosh, this happens to me every time. <laughs> every time. Oh, goodness. What? But I don't reach for these ColourPop. I don't know why. And they're really pretty. Okay, I think Songbird can go, and I'm going to keep the red and this other one here. Yeah, Songbird can go. I'm going to keep Brink, and I'm going to keep Trust Me. This one came in a subscription box. It's sugar. It's matte as hell crayon lipstick and Stephanie Plum. Oh, that's a really pretty one for fall. It's really similar to this one I already kept. Hmm. It felt really creamy, so I wonder how matte it really is. I think I want to keep this because I've never tried it. I think that's actually the first time I've even swatched it and I'm curious about it. So I think I'm going to hold on to this for now. And then these are both from Buxom and they're actually in the same shade. They're just different formulas. They're both in Dolly and this is like their powder and this is their lip, um, cream lipstick. I actually wore both of these on my wedding day. I kind of combined the two. This is so interesting. There's like the product inside here. It's powder and this is like a sponge applicator that you like pop on your lips that way. I'm definitely keeping these just because I love the shade so much. I think I have the Dolly shade in every single formula possible. Um, this is definitely my favorite, like this formula here, this um, crayon one, but I love them all. And because it is what I wore on my wedding day, I'm definitely going to keep them. Okay, now here are all of my Maybellines, and I feel like I need to be kind of tough on these because I, I mean you can tell how close some of these are do I really need this many shades this one I want to keep because I have nothing else like it it's like an orange red so I'm definitely keeping this one I think Fran liked it too <laughs> she's my girl I hope she's not <laughs> I think she's probably casting a horrible shadow on these but I'm not gonna move a comfy dog um, okay, so these two are really similar, so let's swatch these and see which one can go, because I don't think I need both. Look at that. I've, like, 
I've like not even used that. Could you see that? <laughs> I'm not sure if you could see it. I have like not even used this one, but oh my gosh, that is beautiful. And I do know I love, love, love this formula so much. This one I've used. What do you think? I think I do like this one better. So I think I might see if one of my friends wants this one. And then this is like a really pretty pink. Oh, that's fun. I want to keep that. I've like not even worn that one either. Okay, now we're into the nudes. And this is where I think I need to be more brutal. Because do I need that many nudes? Probably not. Okay, let's get to swatching and see what we think. So I think I'm going to swatch all these on my arm because my hand is just getting too full. And I can't really tell what's going on. This one's Talk the Talk. It's a really nude. This is Trust Your Gut. That's like the super famous one that they say is like a dupe for a pillow talk. These two are both extremely similar. We've got On the Grind. That's like a purple undertone. We've got Lead the Way. That's more pink. And then Change is good. I've like not hardly used that one at all. It doesn't look like. I love them all. Those two are so similar. <sighs> you guys, I think I want to keep them all. <laughs> okay, these, these crayon ones were a lot harder than I thought. Gosh, I'm keeping them all. You can't make me get rid of them. You can't. So, okay, we've got these three that I'm going to pass on. But what do I do about the Revlon? That is so pretty. I haven't been wearing it. It's going to go. I haven't been reaching for it. So, okay. Well, I found four. Let's hope the lip liners go a little bit better. So we've got all our lip liners. I honestly feel like this is a lot considering I just decluttered these recently. I'm not sure how it got so out of hand. We're going to do what we always do. Pick out the ones I know I absolutely want. So right out the gate, that's my Buxom Lip Pencil and Dolly. I was just telling you about how much I love the shade Dolly. So that's definitely staying. So are my two pencils from MAC. I have Whirl and Soar. I feel like those are the two most popular shades. And they're definitely staying. I can also tell you that this one from NYX is going to stay. This is Peekaboo Neutral. I love it. You can tell I've used a lot of it. Um, so that's going to stay um, along with my Urban Decay 24-7 and Naked 2. This is one of like my perfect shade lip liners. I love this one. Let's see. Okay, now we're getting down to ones that like I don't have a super firm opinion on. So we've got a couple from KKW Beauty. Those are pretty new to me. Got a couple from NYX, some Milani's. Um, this is actually not ColourPop. I thought it was. This is KAB. I think that's a new brand. I think I got it in a subscription box. I've got a Thrive, Collab, Dominique. I know that came in a subscription box. I think these did too from St. Lux. And then I've got a Wet n Wild and an Essence. So I think we're going to need to swatch some of these and figure out what we're going to keep, what we're not, because I don't need this many lip liners. I feel like you need a really good nude, a good pink, and a good red. I already have saved a bunch of good nude ones, so <laughs> let's see what we've got here that I really want to hold on to and what we can pass on to someone else. Okay, I've had this one a long time from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Wicked. I feel like my hand is so pink now, you're not going to be able to really see swatches. So I think we're going to take off my Fitbit and do it on my wrist here. So maybe you can see what we're working with. I love this pink. So I'm going to keep this one. I've had it for a while, but I really love that. Okay, I've got a couple from ColourPop. This looks like a red, like a reddish pink. It's kind of like an orangey red. It's really the only thing I have, though, that's remotely red at all, so I think I'm going to keep it. And then this is also ColourPop. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, that's like a maybe. We've got this one from Collab. Oh, that's a really good one, too. That's not as dark as that other one. I like that. Okay, we've got Essence. Okay, that was like 
really dry. I think this one's going to go. This is that KAB one. Or do you just say cab? I don't know. That's really creamy, and I almost think too creamy. And I don't know that I need a shade like that. So I think this one might get, this one might go too. Okay, these two from Milani look like they could be really good for me because they're a very good neutral. Although they're a wood stick. I don't love that. They're really creamy though. That looks like a great nude. Okay, those are so similar. I don't need both. So do we want to go lighter or darker? I'm thinking lighter. This is really terracotta and this is more nude. So let me verify I got that right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep this lighter one and pass on the darker, more terracotta shade. Okay, from NYX, we've got like a really deep burgundy and I don't think I need that. That's like a purple. And then this is a pink. I don't think I need either of those. Um... Although I did just keep some really great liquid lipsticks in that shade. So I think I will keep this pink one and pass on this like burgundy-ish color. Okay, this is from Wet n Wild. This is their retractable gel liner. I do love this formula. I think we're going to keep this one. It's a great, great formula. Super creamy. Okay, this is from Dominique. I don't even think I've tried this. This came in a subscription box. I don't like that shape, although I do use lip liners as lipsticks a lot, and that's a pretty shade, and that shape is really interesting, so I think I might try this out because I've never tried it, and I'm intrigued, so I think this one we're going to try out. We've got one from Thrive. I think this came in a subscription box as well. It's a retractable, it's kind of purpley. Although I kind of like that better than the Milani. I think I might pull out the Milani and keep this instead. I think it might be better for my lips. So I'm going to pull out this Milani and pass on that. Um, oh, did I say I was getting rid of this ColourPop one? I think I did. I think I was maybe on it. Okay, and then there's the Collab. I'm going to pass on Collab. We've got these. Okay, so this is KKW Beauty, and this is the St. Lux. I've never even tried these. Oh, that's, like, hard. Oh, and straight-up brown. No. I will never use a straight-up brown lip liner. Never, ever. What's this shade? That one's prettier. I've never used this formula, so I'm interested to try that out. So I think I'll keep it to try that out. And then we've got these two from KKW. I got them during the 21 Days of Beauty when they were on sale. So I got like a pink and a nude. They're so new to me, I haven't really decided how I feel about them, so I think I'm going to keep both of them for now. All right, so I clearly was not as cutthroat as I intended to be. I've saved a lot more than I've passed on, but I've still pared it down by eight. So that's progress. I think my problem here was just that there's a lot of newer formulas in here that I'm just not quite sure about, and I want to hold on to them until I know more. Like there's several that I've gotten in subscription boxes or like the KKW that I don't really know how I feel about yet that I feel like I just want to hold on to them a little bit longer and form an opinion before, you know, I toss out something that might be really great. So I definitely kept more nudes than I probably needed to, <laughs> considering I don't wear lip liner every single day, but I still think this is a fairly manageable amount. It does not overflow by any means, and I still got rid of eight, so we're calling that progress. So this is what we are left with. Overall, I'm really happy with it. Over here are just like lip balms and some lipsticks that I just need to put away, like my new Marc Jacobs ones. Um, so we've got, though, we've got the lip liners pared down really well. The ink crayons are looking pretty good too. Slightly full since they don't quite lay flat, but almost. This is the area that I really need to kind of work on using more of these to see if there are any that I just don't need anymore or don't like. Um, but overall, like I said, I'm very happy with how it's pared down. I found a lot to get rid of overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I will have a whole declutter playlist linked below. So if you love watching declutters, check that out. Totally binge worthy. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video.
Bye, guys.